Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to my December daily for 2022. We're going to be working on day seven, eight, and nine, hopefully today. Seven is kind of already done. Um, it was a really easy one. I just created this through Canva. Um, I taped it to the back of my day six and then I added the seven. The only thing I'm thinking about including is this counting down. I'll do that little red stitch that Allie is made famous. And I'll just tape that down and we're going to call day seven done. Day eight is also going to be simple. We've had some busier um, spreads in the, the last few pages. So um, these two are going to be quite simple, but still tell some, this one is going to tell a really fun and meaningful photo. So my day eight was a foundation page. So day nine is going to have a bunch of nines around it with a nine in the middle and something that pulls out telling that story. I don't really know what that story is yet. That's okay though. Um, I'm working on this and then I need the backing of it though. I'm just trying to see the best way to film this for you. I need to keep my day nine there so I can see where the circle is because I have this piece here that will go in the middle and then I have a few different choices. I haven't quite figured out. I have the pocket and I picked the one that says, um, finding joy in celebrating this moment. And that will go on top. And then I had a different eight that was like this, but I didn't want them to be side by side. So I found a tag eight that I thought I could just punch a little hole in. And then I found a couple other tags. Not exactly. I'm really not sure how I'm going to make this, make a go about this yet. So I thought it's possible I could do this and then pull it out. I don't know. Um, I also have this celebrate. I actually am thinking about cutting off the celebrate and just having it here and putting my title, which is going to say, do you hear what I hear? And then maybe I can go like this. I have that one that says this magical season, or I have this love this moment, depending on, because this is going to be in black writing. I wasn't sure which one would look the best. But my plan is this is going to be a non-photo story. And so I'm going to have some journaling, hopefully on here. I haven't, I really haven't decided how I'm going to do this yet. Um, but it's going to be, I typed out or wrote out, do you hear what I hear? Do you see what I see? Do you taste what I taste? Do you feel what I feel? And I think I did one, I think I did one more. I did all the, the, the um, five senses. Um, and so I've just been looking for those throughout the season and I think I found all of them now so I thought that this would be a great day to do it. Day eight in in real life on the December 8th I got sick. Um, I had a really bad cough and couldn't go to work and all of that so there wasn't much to document so I feel like this is a great filler. My only issue I'm having with my day eight is as much as I love these pockets they are very very thick because they're two pieces of felt back to back so I actually think I'm going to cut this um, I might have to restitch it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to then just um, use some red line and glue it. Um, but hopefully it won't be so thick. So that's my plan. Um, I'm not sure that this needs to be on camera. This part needs to be on camera because you kind of know. What. I'm just going to do some journaling and writing. So I will go ahead. I am going to try and cut this though. Um, I will do the journaling and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done but I wanted to go ahead and do that. So what I'm thinking about with this and cutting it is um, I'm debating if I should like cut around and leave the bulk just right here, or if I should actually take out the stitches and then I will have even, I'll just have extra, I'll just have extra pockets, which is cool. I don't have the circles for all of them, but I'll have the extra pockets. And I think that's the way I'm gonna go because it's not going to harm, um, the felt that way or if I'm like not happy with the way it looks if I cut it I don't want to ruin I don't want to ruin it and hopefully this will at least give me the ability to have even more pockets for next year and I have white thread so it's not like I can't quickly restitch so there you go you just have to start it and then it eventually will come out I'm sure this is some pretty strong thread considering it had to go through felt um, but yeah, so that was easy enough. Um, always when you are creating, this is something I'll just mention while I finish this up. If something isn't working for you, 
your product is yours. Once it's yours, you've paid for it. You get to do whatever you want with it. So just because it's made as a pocket like this, thick and um, whatever, maybe you have the room for the bulk so you don't need to worry about it. I tend to have pretty bulky elements in my December daily, so I have to find ways to reduce it. And this is just a simple way to do that. So now I can go like this. I can re-stitch, the holes are already there. It's still going to fit because it's within, like everything's there. And now I have two pockets instead of just one. And I completely took out half that thickness. So that makes me very happy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I will do that, I'll stitch. This is, um, this part is gonna be outside the page protector. I have a vellum piece that's gonna be inside the page protector. I'm not worried about that because when I get to my day nine, there's going to be a photo that slips in and out and I'll just make sure to back it with some white cardstock. So all you're going to see is the, um, the white um, from there. So I'm not worried about that whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna get going. I'll show you what it looks like when this part is all done and then we'll work on day nine. All right, I'm actually really excited to share this with you. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So um, this one I just added, like I said, that countdown, a little puffy sticker, another circle with a little um, shadney wood veneer. So love how that turned out. And then day eight, I just um, stitched that down. Like I said, I added another one of the little um, canvas stickers and then attached my eight to the card. I'm going to hopefully find a little photo that I can put here. So there's something, um, but if not, that's okay too. It's, I started writing on the back and it didn't work. So um, even if it's just like that, that's okay. So that slides in like that. And then I put, um, so day eight is documenting my five senses and five different things that I heard. So I told the story about why I did it and how I came up with it. And then I did, um, what what it was so do you hear what I hear and then I talked about whatever it was so this one is hearing the kids scream while Sean was running around chasing them it was really cute one day um, do you see what I see I saw Barrett staring at Christmas lights just in complete awe of all of the lights and the magic of the season can you taste what I taste which was a chocolate biscuit cake that one of my um co-workers made and she's British so she was telling us how this was the um, cake that Prince William had for his groom's cake which was really cool and it was just delicious um, do you feel what I feel all the cozy blankets that are around our, our house and on our couch and then do you smell what I smell um, which was Nora's curl activator cream so the stuff you put in your hair to keep your hair curly when you have really tight ringlets like my daughter does um, and how we needed to do that a lot this week because it's spirit week at school and so her hair needed to be on par. Um, so it's just experiencing the season and this month through my five senses. And I just, I really love this. It was a lot of fun. And then I'm just tucking them in um, like so. And then that can either hang out, I can tuck it in if I want to doesn't really matter but it's just a bunch of takes and like I said if I find a photo to add I can if not whatever but super easy I was gonna have that little piece here um, that said do you hear but I'm gonna leave it um, and we'll move on to day nine okay day nine is done it was very tricky <laughs> and challenging and I don't know why but it was so let me walk you through it I originally had that plan to have all the nines around um, it was just not working it was clashing it I just wasn't happy with it so my second thought was to do the big nine with this kids art and then do some hand journaling on this green card that would slide in and be taped to the back of my daughter's art with this and the backing of Barrett's Christmas tree so that was my second plan however my day 10 which you'll see tomorrow or the next day I need it to start on this side and so I was really struggling with how I was going to do that if I was going to add a photo what I was going to do my final um, decisions were I took these two things away I just added one of the nines that I did have that was gold and so I have a visual triangle of gold going on here I added a second layer of trim on that one just to kind of make it a little more interesting 
Fussy cut out one of the little banners from the um, 8 by 10 piece of pattern paper from last year. I did still keep my daughter's card in here. So I still have that. And the trick is to get it in the middle of the page protector. So I still have that and it's kind of the decor of this part for the nine, right? And then I have my son's card. This is my oldest. His card that opens up. And then I have Barrett's little tree that I wrote created by Barrett at preschool. So that's perfect. And then for the rest of my day nine, I don't have the photos yet because I obviously wasn't planning this part. So I need to um, print the photos and then it will be good. But I'm going to have two little flip ups. So this card will flip up like this. There will be a photo of my son's artwork from school. He did this cool drawing that's um, it's very, very large on the wall at school. So I'll do that along with my journaling. And then I have a photo of my daughter and one of her friends because I went in one day to help do a like a holiday Christmas um, station thing at their school. And so I have a photo that again, this card will be there. It'll flip out and you'll see the photo and I'll talk about that and just kind of the artwork in general. Um, and then if I need to, I was thinking I'd leave space for one more photo. I think my son um, made a card for my husband. And so I will either slide that in with this or I'll add it there. So this won't completely be completed until Christmas, but at least I have it done and I've got it laid out. So I'm so much happier because I was really struggling with this one. It, I don't know why I don't, I wasn't planning on doing my kids art on this day, which is part of the problem. Um, but I didn't really have anything else that I was liking the vibe of how it was going with this pattern paper and it just wasn't fitting. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. It just was a process to get there. So ah, we've done it. We've gotten through the, these three days, which is so funny because they're probably the simplest. Like this one is just a couple embellishments. This one was the fun, um, day eight was just the fun one about my, the five senses. I just added a little photo to the back of it did a little bit of stitching um, just to have a little something um, and to have the transparency, the, sorry, the vellum on the outside of the page because I love the texture to that. Um, and then day nine, which again, it's easy. It's just the layout of it was a struggle for me, but it's done. We're good. We're going to move on to day 10. Got a plan for that. Um, and thank you so much for watching this process. I'll see you guys all um, in the next couple days. Bye everyone.